So open up GIMP, create a new file, 1000 pixels by 1000, and under the advanced options, fill with transparency. Now take your circle flux tool and make a circle uh, 800 pixels by 800. Now you're going to want to get this centered, so it would be 100 by 100. Now, fill this with a very light gray. And then select none. Now create a new layer with a black foreground and a white uh, background. Gradient tool, uh, foreground and background, radial, then just, oops, you want to alpha selection right here this a uh, uh, gray circle then click on this new layer you want to reverse it white to black uh... something along those lines there that should be pretty good right there select none now create a new layer actually no I'll selection that again I'm gonna need it and then circle select tool uh... some no not subtract intersect with the current layer make a circle right about like that then with a white foreground take a foreground to transparency uh, gradient just stroke down like that select none lower the opacity quite a bit now create a new layer do the same thing so you can use alpha selection out oh, no you don't want to do that uh, alpha selection this circle circle tool with still on intersecting make a smaller one and then just do a little bit of a gradient Not too much so, there we go so none it's going to be the way down there now we have a uh, glossed uh, orb now merge visible layers now go to filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. Uh, put it right around right here and move the distance up to. You're going to want to bring it down a little more. Then move the distance up to 2. Put the lighting effect right around here. Click OK. And then when that finishes, that'll, you'll be finished with the base eyeball. This is a little too dark, which it might be. Uh, it is a little, still a little too dark. So create a new layer with the gray that you used before. Fill alpha selection the circle. Fill this with it. And changing this to overlay should. There we go. It's a little lighter. Now select none and then you can merge this down. Now on this uh, eyeball layer, go script foo. Uh, if you have script foo, I'll put the. If you don't have it, I'll put the link into the description for getting it. Uh, bevel and emboss, default settings, just click OK. This will just help the uh, shading. It should look a, a little more 3D ish. Then you can merge these down, merge visible layers. And there. Now create a new layer. And then take your ellipsis select tool, make a circle around 350 pixels by 350. Move that in the center, which should be 350, I think it is. No. 325, I think. By 325. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to move that back to that. So, make another circle. Uh, 350. 
Now fill this uh, with nothing. You just want to keep that still. Oh, you can fill it with a light blue. Now alpha. Oh no! Create a new layer. Select none. Now you're just uh, making that blue so you can get the uh, basic circles. So you can have selection it later. Now filters, uh, render, clouds, difference of clouds. Now move the X size all the way up. Move the S size all the way down. Turn on tileable and press new seed. Uh, you can do turbulent if you want a little darker, but uh, light should be fine. Now just click OK. Oh, I'm sorry. For some reason my computer doesn't like doing it like this, so I'll just quickly create a new one. Oh, I know why. It's because it's uh, transparency. I completely forgot that you can't do this on transparency. Oh, well. Merge that down like that. Okay, now you can move this up to the top. Now go to filters, uh, distorts, polar coordinates, and that should be pretty good. Oh, no, offset angle, you can put that all the way up. Just rearranges the uh, lines a little bit, then click OK. Now right click on this blue layer, go alpha to selection, then go select, invert, and then hit the delete key. Oops, now you want to make sure you click on that one. Delete key, and then select, none. Now you can move this over like that and then go overlay, which gives it a nice blue. Um, but I'm going to try something different, which I haven't tried yet. So you can alpha to selection this again, new layer. Then get pick a light blue for the foreground, dark blue for the background. Gradient tool, uh, foreground and background, radial. Stroke it. You don't want it reversed. Stroke it like that. Then go overlay. That doesn't look too bad. You can even move this one up. Make it a little darker. There. Now select. Done. 